Whoa! Hello! How are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes you happier than a smile for you, Peach. Well, tough luck! I'm in a very bad mood, you monster! You've imprisoned all the guests of the castle! You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom! I'll tell you what, I'll swallow and make everything as it was before you showed up! <laughs> oh, that's rich! You know I can't do that! That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Brothers at Toot and Koopa! Sure, they were complete waves, but they were still loyal to me! I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me! I'm nipping this in the bud right now! I'm going to use Invincible Tubba Blubba on him! He's the strongest creature I know! After me, you'd best forget about Mario! Your nastiness! We have a problem! Why, Kevin Koopa, let's get you some rolling up! You look upset! What?! The Star Spirit flew away from Tubba Bubba's castle?! K King Bowser, keep your voice down! Princess Peach will hear you! Hmm, yes, right. Tell me the details over there. Tweet, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. The Star Spirit must have escaped. Did you hear her call that Tom Bobo thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We better try to find out about Tubba Blubba. If we could find something, anything about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea. Then, there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. So this is the second Peach intermission, right here. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know how embarrassing this is. This is the part that I got stuck on as a kid. I'm serious. The very second Peach Intermission, this is where I got stuck on when I was a kid. And it took asking for my younger siblings and my childhood friends' help to get past this point. Now, I am not good at stealth sections. This is actually the first stealth section of the game. But, it, as it turns out, the solution is actually really simple. So after going through the secret passage, now we'll be able to go out the door that we couldn't before. Let's see, so Bowser's diary is gone, as it should be. So let's go out. There are still guards outside. Be careful not to get caught. I really sure he goes and happens if you get caught. The answer to this is actually really simple. You just have to go in this door. There we go. There are guards here too, probably lots of them. We'd better be extra careful. So this isn't too bad. So uh, in the future, I will probably use restore points after after a few tries maybe. But for now, I don't think it's going to be necessary. I don't think. I say that, of course. Okay, so there is actually going to be a guard coming. Yes, there he is. So we have to hide in here because for some reason he can't see us. So that is actually a badge. That's right there. Right here. Power rush badge. When Mario is in danger, his attack power increases by two. Can't do anything with it yet. This is where we were supposed to go. Yeah, it's that simple. And I got stuck on this when I was a kid. Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I hear, heard a rumor that he loves eating ghosts. Ugh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside of Herbal Forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the Star Spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion in a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba sometimes goes there to catch booze. And then, when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Chomp! Brrr! Oh man, that's scary. Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night. And I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it! Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tubba Blubba is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible! 
Even Master Tubber Blubber has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubber Blubber's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. If that's about his past, I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh. What if Tubber Blubber hears you? He might gobble us up. Still, what do you think a secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you halfwit. Tweak! It sounds like Tubba Blubba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? <gasps> Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, whoa! Princess Peach! How'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room. Right now. So that item up there, that is a life shroom. We will not be able to collect that for a very long time. As in literally not until the end of the game long time. So hopefully you'll remember that it's up there in the library. And that's it. Yeah, that's seriously it. That's what I got stuck on as a kid. Thank you, Mario. At last I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar. So nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Okay, Mario's star power energy goes up to 2. Star energy, not star power. Mario can now use Lullaby and new star spirit power. With Lullaby, you can make all enemies fall asleep. Call me when times are bad. Believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit after all. <laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. For now, I'm going back to recover in Star Haven. Who knows how many girls in Star Haven is starting without the star rod? Goodbye, Mario. I'm off! <clears throat> Alright, so now we have two bars of star energy. So we can use refresh twice. If we so wanted. See, so keep my eye out for any bandits. So yeah, that was what I got stuck on as a kid, that peach section. I couldn't believe it either. I couldn't believe it when I found out how simple the answer was. Because that's all you have to do. Seriously. I'm trying to avoid any fights if I can help it. Okay, we're back on the main path. Yep, keeping my eye out for any enemies. Bandits, if you're wondering, you could steal your coins. And maybe your items too, I don't remember exactly. Let's see here. Whoa, what ill luck! No clues about the ruins! I'm getting so frustrated, I just about to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. I say, Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand. It looks like, it looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive you, or is that a clue to dry dry ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg of you, could you possibly part with it? Here you go, sir. Cheers, Mario. Smashing, really, old boy. Soon now, the serious Georgia ruins are rise that says it could seal them. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose I think you give this order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. Another star piece. You now know bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. Oh, the ruins, uh... You never know, I'd say they'd already risen up. Okay, so now that we have that taken care of, we can go back the way we came. But now that we have this super hammer, there are actually a couple of things that we can do. Let's see, well, I already took care of Buzzer. Come on. So, I don't have to worry about that cutscene ever again. Let's see. Not that I'm going to be back here, but, you know, it's a real time saver. Even though you have to face the boss in order to actually earn that reward. It is what it is, though. Son of a... Ah! It's exactly what I was trying to prevent. It happened anyway. Okay, that'll be easy. Anyway, I don't have the BP to... Oh, hello. I don't have the BP to equip Spike Shield right now. I want that star piece. Go away, sir. Let's see. Oh, I was way off. I wasn't even close. 
Okay, so it's over here then. Okay, come on. Got it! Yes! Okay, star piece! Because there are a couple of badges that I want to get from Merlot. We also have some undelivered letters. Let's see, one's to Merlin. Who's the other one for? Oh yeah, good papa. That's the letter that will start a uh, a chain of letters passed between the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. How many items do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I can actually get a couple of Wacka's bumps here. Oh sure, I'll save. Just in case. So, as you hit Wacka, his dialogue actually changes. Let's see. Wack who? I'm Wacka! Just another picture perfect day atop Mount Rocky. Woo! Of course, yesterday was also pretty nice. Let's see, so I can get four of these. Remember, you can only get ten Wacka's bumps per save file. So, use them wisely. So that was hit number two, here's hit number three. Whack who? I'm Wacka! Just another picture perfect day time, I'm rugged! Woo! Of course, he says the same thing. Let's see, there's another one. So his dialogue- I swear his dialogue changes, just trust me. So here's hit number four. Whack who? Wacka! Oh. Whack who! I'm Wacka! Another lovely day! Who? Tomorrow will be beautiful and the day after too! Another Wacka's bump. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm sorry, but this is bothering me. Yeah, that was no fault of my own, and yet I hopped on top of the cliff like a moron. All because it didn't have Spike Shield equipped. Not that it would have done anything to the cleft, but, you know, I wouldn't have to use my mushroom. Whack who? I'm Wacka! Okay. Hey. Uh, I don't remember uh, what that was. So, here is another hit. Whack who? I'm Wacka, aren't I? I feel like I'm getting a touch forgetful nowadays. Did I remember to eat breakfast this morning? You see, if you talk to him, there's actually a particular line of dialogue for when you're at the final hit. Let's see here. Okay, that's 10 items. I guess I could afford to get rid of the other mushroom, but definitely not the maple syrup. Let's see. Let's see. Just saying the same thing. So I will get rid of the mushroom. Let's see, I wonder if I could afford to get rid of the second Thunder Rage, too. Oh no, I can get rid of a fried shroom. Okay. See, so if this is hit number ten, he's gonna have uh let's see. Yep, whack hoo, yakadoo, whick, whick, whack, ahoo. So when you see that line of text to hit him again. Whack a wah I can't take this abuse. Nice job, jackass. You murdered an innocent animal. Yep, he's gone. You won't see him ever again. Okay, so now that we have the super hammer, we can break this down. And another super block. Let's see. Airlift is really not that useful, so I'm going to upgrade Cooper. Alright, so Cooper is now a super rank. Oh, if you hit a super block after you used it, that's it. Nothing special.
Now, uh, the only real bearing on uh, the Wacka's disappearance, aside from no more Wacka's bumps, is uh, this Toad's dialogue. That execute Wacka! I haven't seen it lately! What could have happened? I'm a little worried. Mario, do you know anything about the habits of the wild Wacka? Uh... Good luck with that. So let's go back to Toad Town. Okay, now that we've seen that cutscene once with the train moving, we could skip it. Let's see. Okay, it has to be A. I try pressing start, it's A. Alright, back at Toad Town. Now that we have the super hammer, we can break the stone block. That's over in the Toad Town Tunnels. So I'm going to switch to Paracarry. So there's a reason why I was doing this first. Let's see here. It's because of this. We have a mid-boss. Out of nowhere too. Okay. So this is a blooper. He's always floating. So we cannot use the hammer. Let's see here. I, oh, that was just barely. I believe he has 30 HP. Ugh. It's not too bad. Like, this guy's attacks. I, I am able to use refresh twice. Got it. Okay. I also have that maple syrup still. Yes. So let's drink the maple syrup. Oh yeah, refund. Oh man, that badge is already coming in handy. 99 coins, okay. Got him. Ugh, why can't I dodge an attack? Seriously. Right, power jump again. Pow! Yes, he's gotta be close to done by now, right? There we go, got him. So, there are three bloopers to come across in the Toad Town Tunnels. The first one is the easiest. That's why I saved this for last, because if we hit the switch, three blue warp pipes will open. Let's go into each one of them. So, the one on the left, take you back to Dry Dry Outpost. These shortcuts will be opened permanently. So, the one on the left takes you to Dry Dry Outpost. The one in the middle, It takes you to Koopa Village. So, the one on the right will take you to Goomba Village. Since we're here, let's go and deliver this letter. Howdy, Mario! How are you doing? You're Goompapa, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Here you go, sir. Let's start this crazy chain of events. Hey, thanks! Much obliged, Mr. Postal Worker! Oh, great news! Fishing is one of my hobbies, and this is my friend who's planning a fishing trip. I can't wait! Oh, sorry to power work you, but could I give you the letter? If it's at all possible for you, could you deliver this to a toad named Musty? He hangs around the castle garden. I'd really appreciate it. See, letter to Musty near Princess Peach's castle. Yeah, Musty is his name. Musty. <laughs> all the toad names are, are basically puns. So, you want to open this shortcut if you're doing Koopa Koot's favors? Let's see, what favor do you have for me this time, sir? His favor is... I don't suppose I could go to Goomba Village and find Goompa, the grandfather. He still has a tape I lent him a while back. Could you get it for me? I really want it. If you save the tape, he'll know what you're talking about. Try to keep this whole thing under wraps, would you? You promising, fella? So, Koopa Koot is basically an old timer who works folks to the ground but if you open up the these shortcuts it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier getting it all done so here's Goompa so Mario how goes the adventure thus far are you keep it cool keep your wits about you and you'll beat Bowser hands down 
Hmm, hmm, Mario. It is just that the is on your mind. What? Koopa Koo said he wants the tape back? That old Koopa, how does he remember things from so long ago? Okay, wait for just a minute. I'll bring it out for you. So it was right there the whole time. Here, this is it. When you see that old Koopa, give him my regards. The tape. A tape returned by Goompa. Delivery to Koopa Koop. What's that? You want to know what's on the tape, do you? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't tell you at the moment. It was great, though. Huh. It looks like one of those old uh, cassette tapes from back in the 90s, you know? Right? So let's go back to Koopa Village and deliver the tape to Koopa Koop. Let's see here. Here you go, sir. Suffer, shy guys. Mario, you're a real gent. Did Goopa complain? Hee <laughs> hee. Take this as a gesture of eternal gratitude. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. We. Let's see. His next favor. I've got a hanker for some Koopa tea. It's the very best. Fetch a bit for me, would you? Koopa tea can be made only with the fresh Koopa leaf, which you can find at the village. Brewing it requires a special technique. Only a culinary master can make this tea the proper way so that it bursts with flavor. You know, I think Young Miss Tastes Tea of Toad Town is quite, the, quite a tea brew master. What do you say you run along and bring, bring, back, bring some back pipe? Ha! I have your word, young fella. So, you have to check bushes to get a Koopa leaf. There are two places we can get one. Let's see here. There. That's one spot. It restores 3 FP. But if you can steep it into Koopa tea, you will get 7 FP back. So this is actually another reason why I wanted Speedy Spin. Because it's going to make trekking, uh, doing these favors a lot easier. Alright, so let's steep the Koopa Leaf. Yes. I need to store the Wacka's Bumps, too. <clears throat> of course, I could sell a few more cup of tea. Tea brewed by Taste Tea, so 7 FP. Let's see, since I'm in the area, there are a few things that I don't want to do. So, I want to check to see if Speedy Spin is available. Yes, there it is. So, Speedy Spin increases the distance Mario can spin dash. So you need one BP to use Speedy Spin. So let's buy it. I don't plan on doing any more fighting for the rest of the video. Guess I'll decor D down pound just in case. Speedy Spin. Check this out. Woo! Oh man, that's pretty good. This is going to be so much better. So this is Must Tea over by Peach's Castle. To think, when the castle was here, it was always bustling. Now no one walks here. I can't believe it, but I actually missed the crowds. You're a must eat, correct? Yeah, 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 same thing. Here you go, sir. Oh, it's from Mr. Goompapa, that old codger. We think alike, he and I. It's been ages since I saw him. Too long indeed. This reminds me. I was just thinking about sending a letter to one of my other friends. Your timing is perfect. This letter is to my friend. His name is Coover. He lives at Cooper Village. I'd like you to deliver this to him. I'll bet, I'll bet he's going to be interested in the village. He usually hangs out in front of the toad house that's right on the edge of town. No big rush, but it would be nice if you got it soon. So, letter to Coover. And since I'm here, I can deliver this letter to Merlin. Right here. If you want me to predict your future, talk to me from across the table. You are Merlin, correct? Yep, he sure is. Here you go, sir. Hmm, who's it from? Hmm. Oh, my granddaughter, Merle. She recently entered the family business. Oof. Is that so? Oh, I see. Interesting. She opened up her business at Dry Dry Outpost, deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quiet... Quiet... Oh, located somewhere quiet off the main drag. She seems to keep it busy. That's good to hear. Thanks so much for bringing this letter. I'll give you this. Another star piece. Nice. Alright, so I got the Koopa Tea, took care of some letter deliveries. I can take care of another one since I'm here, you know. Yeah, Speedy Spin's gonna be so great. 
I'm going to the center, goes to Cooper Village. Come on, Cooper Village. So let's bring Cooper Kuda's tea. Let's see here. <clears throat> Great growth, gold pits. You defy comparison, Mario. Wondrous, excellent. Mmm, this is the spot. You know, this tea is just as delicious ice as it is hot. You're a stand-up guy. Okay, you're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. So this is the line of text for something special. This time I'll give you this special gift as thanks. So it's later, me though, I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, you'd have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. You got three star pieces. So if you keep doing favors of Koopa Koo, after a certain number each time, you get three star pieces from him. See, so this is the third favor after chapter one. Let's see, I have a secret wish to get the great Luigi's autograph. He's your brother, right? That young fella is truly super. Have you seen him jump? They should call him Air Luigi. If you could somehow get his autograph, I'd be really happy. Could you help, young fella? Ah, it looks like Luigi has a fan, huh? How nice. It's always nice to cheer for the underdog, right? So this is Coover right here. How are things, Mario? Go swimmingly, I hope. Let's see, you're Coover, correct? Yep. Here you go, sir. <clears throat> hey, thanks! You came at a good time. I was just about to send a letter myself. Oh, would you look at this? It's a letter from Mouse T. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I told you, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby! As you think, I was just about to send letters to all my fishing buddies about a trip. Once you have a good place set up, I'll write a letter back to Mouse T. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much! It's to a friend of mine who's always fishing at the Toad Town port. He's easy to find. Thanks again. Letter to Fishmail at the Toad Town port. So he has a name, Fishmail. At least I think that's how you say it. If mail as in M-A-I-L. Or M-A-L-E, one of the two. Let's see here. So Fishmail happens to be... Right here, because so we have to go to the left again. We also have to get Luigi's autograph for Koopa Koop. Hey, it's Chuck Quizmo. Let's do a quiz. Alright, so what's the question this time, Chuck? Question What ability does Gumbari frequently use? Use Tattle. There we go. Jump, dive, and Tattle. Jump is Mario's thing. Another star piece. I don't know what was up with that block on the right side, but it was there. Let's see, so this is the fish mail right here. <clears throat> Stay still, Kirsty Hyde. On the hook with ye. Told her to only a bit, you blasted little wriggler. Cut it out now, here. I ain't gonna be bait. Leave off. Come on now. Address to a person fishing at the port. Ah, this must be you. So I think that's the only time he actually says something like that. Paracarry. Here's a letter for you, sir. Hmm, what's this then? Shiver with timbers. Word from Coover. Must T said he wrote a letter too. Everyone's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. You should come along, Mario. Yara, that reminds me. I got a favor to ask. Could you de could you deliver this to him? Him? Why the Koopa Troopa asked him to bring this letter to me? Coover's the name. Yara, take good care for the love of fishes. So another letter to Coover. All right, very nice. I went fishing uh, once. I went fishing in Mexico with extended family. My dad went with me, and we were both bored out of our minds. Like there was nothing. To so we were got in a boat. We went to sea. There was nothing to do, and my dad ended up getting seasick on top of all that. Somehow I didn't. Okay, so whenever you get a new to a new tool. Um, that's weird. So whenever you get a new tool like the Super Hammer, Luigi would be on top of something. Top of a block. Let's see, where is he? Oh! There's music coming from below. And look at this. Doesn't this look suspicious? Um, that's awkward because I came here to get Luigi's autograph. Yet he's, uh... He... <laughs> I can't actually get to him. Wow.
Okay, so let's deliver this letter to Coover then. Come on. I never understood what was up with that funky beat whenever you go to that go near that warp pipe. So I think after this I'm gonna call it quiz for right now. I'm probably gonna end up resuming in uh, Toad Town again. Let's see here. How are things going? Let's see. Mr. Coover, Perry Carry here. I have a letter for you. Hang on a moment. Here you go, sir. Oh, thanks! Cool, it's from my pal. This was to the answer to my last letter. Thanks for the speedy delivery. Now I can send letters to the whole gang. It would be great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. Here, can you take it? It's to Mr. E, who lives in the desert. He'll most likely be hanging out in front of the toad house. He wears a blue turban. You'll probably notice it right off the bat. Thanks for everything. So, Mr. E, as in mystery. <laughs> Okay, since I'm, I'm nearby, I guess I'll take care of this real quick, and then I'm going to end the video. Okay. Let's see, so the one on the left will go to Dry Dry Outpost. It's nice that the game actually tells you where he is, you know. So, Mr. E is this guy right here, Blue Turbo. I love this town. I don't care that, that the desert is so harsh. There's no place like home. I was born in Dry Dry Outpost, and this is where I'll stay. You're Mr. E, correct? Yep, he sure is. Here we go, sir. Gee, thanks. Oh, looks like an order from Koopa Village. My job is delivering things to Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor to deliver this letter the next time you're in Toad Town? It's to Miss T. She lives there. She's one of three basically beautiful sisters. She's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Thanks a lot. Misty, as in Misty. Alright, I think uh, that'll do it for this video, huh? So, next time on Paper Mario, uh, let's see what we can do about moving forward, huh? See you then.